go close to getting them here as the front line walk up to their marks. They're set. Tapes release. They're off. Away safely from out wide to Amada Lass. And uh, scrambling just after the start was Alyssa McKenzie. It's still in a full stretch gallop and virtually out of contention. Another gallop at the back of the field is good job. And as they sort their order out early doors, Ward and Destroyer went to the lead over Majestic Wiz. Third is to Imata Lass. And Mel Park Sunshine makes good ground. Now going out uh, up in the air there, just uh, onto that first turn was to Imata Lass. It's been passed by one of its stable mates, Empire Bay. Further back then came Seven Secrets. Denis Knows Best has also gone for a gallop. Good job gets past it, and there's about 100 metres away to uh, Alyssa McKenzie. So they're spread out over plenty of real estate. By G, nearly a furlong covers them. And as they come into the straight now, it's Wardan Destroyer, the leader. In second spot is Majestic Wiz with Mel Park Sunshine third. And that trio are about four or five in front of Empire Bay, the short-priced favourite. And then came Tuimata Lass, a break of a length and a half to seven secrets. They're starting to close ranks now onto this lead trio. About eight lengths away in the field then as they uh, come down to greet the judge with a round to go was good job. About 15 away to Denny knows best and a long margin off to the other one tailed right off and that is Alyssa McKenzie. So a lead time of 52.6 as they rate down towards the bottom turn and with 12.50 metres left to go, Wardan Destroyer the pilot. Majestic with second third is uh, at the moment Mel Park Sunshine and sitting in fourth spot is Empire Bay with a cold camp on the lead uh, group. Uh, followed further back then to seven secrets and then we've got a break of about five lengths away then a good job who's got past to him out of lass long margin off and he knows best and tailed right off as Alyssa McKenzie who bungled the start 30.4 first quarter of the last mile as they run down to the 900 metres. That's from where they begin the race and the leader is still Ward End Destroyer looking for an all-the-way win with Majestic Wiz camped on its back second. In third spot at the moment is Mill Park Sunshine and they were followed then by the favourite Empire Bay. Seven Secrets gets onto its back. They're about five in front then. A further back good job to him out less forget the other pair. 30 and seven second quarter. 61.1 the half as they run their way off the back straight and the leader slips away here. He says go, and Wardan Destroyer has quickly put four or five lengths now on Majestic Wiz. Favourites out and running to give Chase Empire Bay spots the leader six, but it's closing. And then came Mill Park Sunshine and Seven Secrets. They're inside the quarter marker. 400 left to go. 28.8 the split. It's Wardan Destroyer first to see the judge, but in hot pursuit is Empire Bay. They've got away now from the others as they come into the straight, where the leader is still Wardan Destroyer. 200 left to go. Trying hard at the moment is Empire Bay. Seven Secrets is down the outside. Outside a place prospect for Majestic Wiz, but it's all Wardan Destroyer. And Wardan Destroyer, a faultless exhibition of square gating, is going to go home and win it by four or five lengths on Empire Bay. Seven Secrets will grab the third and for fourth in a real slugfest the last 50. Getting that spot was Majestic Wiz, about a half in front of Mill Park Sunshine. Long intervals, good job. Tui Mata Lass. And then we've got Alyssa McKenzie, who managed to get past and he knows best who finished last 28-9, 159-9 the rate. Ward and Destroyer.